as you can see, uh, or you will soon see, we have HamptonBud.com up on the screen. And you'll note that it has been somewhat refreshed. And underneath the Warren articles, there's now a new entry called BudCom Working Articles. You guys at home can enjoy this right now yourselves. And so when you go there, there is the, all of the Tom Warren articles that were delivered to us. There are 32 of them, uh, so-called Money Warren articles. Uh, and we'll be going through this uh, tonight. Um, and so let us begin with the first one. I'm just taking them in the order that were given on the uh, screen. So the uh, master plan is the first one. And uh, <clears throat> so I'll open that up for a discussion or whatever you guys want to do. So any thoughts or comments on the master plan? By the way, if you wish, on each one of those, except for one, I actually have a video snippet of the, uh, the Board of Selectmen doing this thing. As part of the master plan, and there is an appropriation in that for $18,000 to do the base work. You need that loud? To, uh, to uh, that's good. The master plan for the town. That we does need, need a board of selectmen recommendation. Need it a little louder for the audience at home. Right. So while we're talking on the microphone, I'd like to make a motion. I know Rick's not here; mm -hmm. he couldn't be here, but he is home listening. And I would ask that the other board members allow him to come in tomorrow and give his vote, vote on it, so that we can have it either. However, it turns out. Right. Okay. So, yeah, oh, can, can we stop? Can we stop there? Yeah. Why are we doing this? Oh no, I, I was just going uh, uh, to hold. Uh, go ahead if you want. Okay. My question to the chair is: um, Are you planning to? Only if you wish. I'm pointing out that each one of the Warren articles. Yeah, I could. I, I yeah, have. We can watch that at home. May I finish my answer? At home can as may well. I finish my answer? Go ahead. Um, each one of the Warren articles, except for one, I have a video snippet of the, the selectmen deliberating and voting on the Warren article itself. Okay. We don't have anyone here tonight from town management to present. Right. Okay, so in lieu of that, I had something to offer, okay? Yeah, my, my understanding. And, and I'm just demonstrating that ability to That's you now. Okay, this is a 59-second snippet, for, for example. Thank you for the demonstration. The, um, I, I received the Warren articles from Christie. I didn't print them because right. I, I thought, maybe I'm, I misunderstood. No, you're correct. I thought that, that, we, that she was going to possibly be here and give us copies, so I didn't print them out. I figured I'd and read the ones on the screen, online. See it. It's a good thing that you have that, because mm -hmm. I didn't print them out. So I don't have them in front of me to look at. But I can read, and I did read them at home, and I got the general drift of each one. Mm -hmm. And I watched that selectman's meeting, and I don't, don't really need to watch it again. But that's just my opinion. All right, well, I will suggest to you that we watch a snippet. If I run across one that I recall as being substantive, this particular one I don't recall as being substantive, right. so I don't need to play it right. or feel a need to unless someone else wishes me to. Um, but that is the article there on the screen for the master plan. Is there any comments or whatever on this uh, master plan uh, warrant article? I don't have any at this time. The master plan Mr. Morrow. <clears throat> that the planning board is they working on, correct? Does, do they work with the town manager and also developing that? You want to take that, Regina? The master plan, last time I checked, is about 4,000 pages sitting in pieces in the town planner's office. And I'm sure everything in it is, uh, it's been sort of worked on, I guess, in piecemeal, but I know since Jason's come on, he's been trying to get it in uh, better order. There's a lot of sections of it. Restructured, maybe. Restructured, yeah. you know, more applicable, I would say. And um, this would be the first step into getting it. We've already scanned it off to our PC, so it is scanned and in one document now, which is good. But this would be the uh, beginning process of well, having someone look at it, there. looking at it as one document, which besides the town, <coughs> I'm not sure if anyone's done. In doing so, I'm interpreting that maybe they're also going to put a recommendation. This is for a second, third, fourth, something, whatever the, the things they need to do. Yeah, I mean, I would hope that it's going to be outlined a little bit as far as right. to recommending. I would think that should be added to the for the for the voters to understand it. I don't think it's clear enough stating that. It's just they're going to have a planning thing, and we need this amount of money. I'd like to know what you're saying that it was a how big the document is and what what we can expect for the money, what they're going to do with this document, such as restructuring it and put them in an appropriate order of things that we need to do going into the future to make sure it was done rather than somebody just pays $18,000 and ends up being the same way it started and somebody made eighteen grand. 
So we're not going to pay them the 18 grand until they do what people expect. Okay. I just think it should be a little more clearer, sir. Got it. Mr. LaBranch. I haven't created it yet. <laughs> so how could you well, you won't know how many pages it's going to be until it's done it's okay. this is the money to do it no it's, it's all in pieces and it stuff it is not the money to do it it isn't this is no. just the start this is the money to put together the plan to make the plan yeah well okay not to actually make the plan see you're confused and that's what I'm talking about we David 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 no, no cross talker please now what I find interesting here is that we've got two master plans, right, Regina? We have the town master plan, which is what this is addressing, right? The town master plan? Yes. And then we have the Hampton Beach master plan. Right. right. Separate and distinct. Seems to be getting updated plan. more rapidly than the whole town. Yeah. Well, I, I don't know about that, but uh, what I have observed over the years is uh, that the master plan or plans, as they apply to a particular case, is often ignored whenever it seems to be inconvenient. Right. And it's vigorously invoked whenever it's very convenient to do so. Yep. So, which has always led me to the question as I watch these meetings, why do we even bother with a master plan at all? I mean, what is the possible advantage to it, given that it's ignored when inconvenient and perhaps overemphasize when it is convenient to do so, Ms. Thilla Branch. <laughs> Why wouldn't the town of Hampton's master plan include the Hampton Beach, which is part of the town of Hampton? How can that, how could you have a master plan for the town without including the beach? Well, the way it transpired was this. There was a town master plan, okay? And then there was a warrant article to pay, I think it was $50,000 for a beach master plan. That was the plan. beach plan in 2001. Okay. Yeah. And it failed. So the local powers to be decided to uh, get, I think, DOT or someone in the state it was to actually pick state up powers. half of that amount. State so powers. the next Warren article the next year was for $25,000 and it was sold to the voters as a as a uh, limited time sale only, 50% off kind of thing. <laughs> <laughs> and so it, 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 was, it, was, uh, it was subsequently passed Yep. And thus they created the the Hampton Beach Master Plan. I don't think they've updated the town master plan since then. And that was this was like what, two thousand and one, something like it was a long time. Two thousand one. All the time. Yeah. yeah. So Regina, go ahead. Like I stated, up until recently when we actually took the four thousand pages of what does exist of a master plan, which is pieces of whatever is supposed to be in the master plan. Okay, so if any of you I'm not sure, but I know I didn't go into the town planner's office and even consider looking at 4,000 separate pieces of paper. No, I would imagine would a consulting firm have a look at 4,000 separate yeah. pieces of paper. So the first step was to get it into one document scanned mm -hmm. electronically so that we can get it off to. Yeah, maybe it, in the past it has been convenient to ignore it, so therefore there is no master plan, so you can just do whatever you want, right? But in all other aspects of life, having a plan is very, very important to determine where you're going to be 10 years from now. 20 years from now, 30 years from now. So I think maybe it's time that we got it into one document to have someone that can perhaps look, help us look at it independently as to what should or shouldn't be happening in the town of Hampton. I know the beach has updated some parts of their master plan, <coughs> which I'm assuming will eventually make it into the town of Hampton master plan. So I think a plan is very important and I don't really care what's been done in the past. I think it's important that it be looked at now. Any other comments? With the issue, uh, Mr. Ladd. With the issue of sea level rise, it seems critical that this exactly. data be brought together so we can start to address what is conceivably an existential threat to the continuance of this town as a town. That makes Mr. sense. More. I think repeating what I said initially, this reinforces it. I'm in favor of a master plan. I understand this 4,000 pages. And we're going to hire some consultant to put it in a proper order, as Regina states. And I agree with that. I'm suggesting that whoever is in charge, be it Fred or the people in the plan page, we have a brief outline of what our expectations are out of this plan. Have it in order, have this and have that. I think it should be very minor, but I think it should meet those expectations rather than coming, I'm making this up as a bad scenario, devil's advocate, that it comes back with, 
3,500 pages rather than 4,000, and it's still rather hodgepodge so we really don't use it anymore. That's all I'm trying to get added to it, a little clarity for this, a little bit more what the expectations are for the delivery of this $18,000, and it shouldn't be just, well, just do it. I think that's a little vague. Mr. Frank. Thank you. Uh, I'm a little confused, okay? We're asking the voters to vote for $18,000 to appropriate the sum for the purpose of contracting professional services to put together a master plan. No, no. Right. To put together a plan to then produce a plan. So it's a plan to plan. So the plan to plan. Then yeah. it's going to sit on the shelf and collect dust? Possibly. That's, uh, that's not. Asked, so what happened to the past master plans that we've had? Well, well, the past the master plan. Wait, 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 Regina, hold on. Regina already explained the past <laughs> master plan is existing. Uh, the town master plan, uh, as Regina just explained, has now been assembled into one digitized document, right? The beach master plan. No, I understand. Which is part of the town. I'm really interested in the town master plan that's been consolidated into one document. Mm -hmm. Okay, and now we're spending eighteen thousand to digitize it. Is no, no, no. It's already been digitized. Yeah, okay. yeah. that's how it's all, all in one place now. Okay? okay. Regina was suggesting that since it was kind of broken up and spread out all over the place physically, that it was difficult, if not impossible, for anyone to really consult with it. And, and now that it's been digitized, it's possible to be consulted with, and possibly through that, it's been identified as being obsolete, and we need a new one, possibly. So if it's obsolete, why are we... Uh, I'm not saying it's I said that's that's obsolete. my own speculation that maybe they saw that it was obsolete and it needed to be totally redone. I'm speculating on that. But then if it's going to be totally redone, is that another warrant article with for additional funds? Yes, most likely. So before we move forward with the 18000 shouldn't we determine whether it's yeah. valid or not? The beginning well, I would, of the I would suggest that given that this is uh, kind of controversial, so to speak, or, well, let me rephrase, let me rephrase that. It, it's needing more clarity right. that yeah. we just not vote on this tonight and, and deal with it on January 3rd. Okay. I would also highlight that Mr. LeBranch point is that we're all in one town, and if we are going to do a town-wide master plan, why would it not include the Hampton Beach uh, plan? Either by reference, at least, or by creating a new one or whatever. So those kind of questions I'm pointing out there now so that when Jason sees the video of this meeting, right. he can see the kind of things that we have before he comes in so he can do whatever research he needs to do. Mr. LeBranch, you have your fingers up. Yes, because the deliverables from phase one will provide the town of Hampton Planning Board with options for pursuing phase two of the project, mm -hmm. which would involve the full update of the town's master plan. So that's the explanation that, you, that seems to be people are confused about. It's right there. So he yeah, 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 I it. agree. Yeah. Regina, you, you also. I said? just want to ver so Jason will be in when we talk about this again, so that we can ask him questions. Yeah, we're, we're going to hold off on voting on it right. until we hear from, from Jason, which is what I expect to do on subsequent ones. If we have substantial questions, we'll just speak speak our mind with regard to some of the thoughts we have on the matter, so that when the people do come in, they'll know what to speak to. Mr. Moore. I would disagree what I just heard from my gentleman on the right. Because read that is not clear enough from my perspective to define more specific deliverable spending. I think some okay. clarity needs to okay. be done Got it. in an organization way. Mm -hmm. Mr. Weber. Yeah, and I'm going to compliment Mr. Moore because I, I, I understand, I, I, I believe I know where he's going, but before I do that, there was an issue, there was a reason why we had the Hampton Beach Master Plan. You got to remember, you have seven state agencies that are involved with Hampton Beach. You had to involve the state, so in that way it was somewhat separate. You had stakeholders from around state parks, DLT, the yeah. Office of Planning. So I understand that, but it's, to Steve's point, you know, we are all in town. The, the, the critical piece that, that I would want to hear from uh, Jason Bichon and, and others going forward is what Mr. Mara is alluding to. And to your great point in your opening statement about they sit on the shelf and when it's convenient, oh, we're going to go to section two of the master plan, we're going to, and, and that's happened. Mm -hmm. And when it's not, so I agree with David, and we'll have more discussion on this about maybe some bullet points that the voters say, okay, 18,000, maybe it's, it's probably worth it. However, 
what are we trying to accomplish? What are the big things that we're, we're, we're going to look at, tell the public right out front? Because, you know, we're about more information and less, and I think that would help. But that, I, I think it's an excellent point, and I know where you're going, because in the past people said, what am I voting for? Okay, it sits here, and then 10 years later, and <coughs> it, there's no question it needs to be updated, but I, I think that's good. So hopefully in future sessions, as Regina pointed with Jason, uh, we'll get some more answers. But, yeah, I think that's fine. Okay. We're all set with this one. We'll move on yeah. to the next one.